Good evening. I want to welcome everybody to this year's Evening of Excellence. Obviously, we're having to do things a little bit different, but when we look back at the year 2019 and 20, what comes to mind are scrunchies and hydro flasks. Now, if it wasn't for coronavirus, this might be what we take away. But instead, what we get to focus on is the time we did have with you all. And this has been a tremendous school year. We appreciate so much each of you students, the work that you put in, and the hard work that you have shown your teachers all year long, even during this MTI time. We also want to thank you parents for your support for us at the school of your child, and we know that their success certainly depends on your support, and so we thank you for that. And for all the teachers and staff who have poured in tirelessly to each of the students, we could not have done it without you. You continue to amaze me even during this MTI time, and we so thank you for your dedication to the students. So again, we have to do things a little bit differently this year, but again, we hope that you enjoy this awards ceremony and our evening of excellence presented by Gary Middle School. For our seventh grade award winners, we first begin with ELA. Mrs. Harlan's winner is Brooklyn Gillum. Brooklyn is a top-notch student who goes above and beyond both in and out of the classroom. She is eager to be an active member of our classroom, which is seen through her readiness to engage in discussions. Brooklyn commits her full self towards achieving excellence daily. Way to go, Brooklyn. Mr. McGuffey's winner is Colt Goog. Colt shows determined effort with every assignment. He always does the right thing and expects the same from others. He is a great example for his peers. Colt has been a joy to have in class. Congratulations, Colt. Mrs. Vinoy's winner is Reagan Powell. Reagan is the prestigious award winner of Advanced 7th Grade ELA. To me, Reagan is one of the best kinds of students. She is self-motivated, takes great pride in her work, isn't ashamed to keep working if she's not satisfied with her work, and is a steady motivator and leader for those around her. Reagan is a dream student, and I'm so sad that our year together was cut short because I'm sure I had a lot more to learn from her. She's a great student and classmate and deserves all the positive recognition in the world. Way to go, Reagan. Ms. Vinoy's 7th grade winner for ELA is Haley Condon. Even though we had an abbreviated school year, I feel that I would have long, not had long enough to share with Haley. Haley is a light. She's sweet and fun and works hard. She kept a consistently high ELA grade point average. If she needed help, she asked. If she wanted to try again, she did. Her positive attitude was everything. Way to go, Haley. Switching to math, we start with Mrs. Druin's Algebra Award winner, which goes to Mason Seagraves. Mason is dedicated to his academics, sports, and friends. He has the top average in algebra as a seventh grader. Wow. The class enjoyed trying to compete against Mason with every assignment or game that we would play. Sometimes we would play Gim Kit with Mason against the entire class, and he would still win. I've loved being Mason's math teacher for the past two years and hope he comes to visit me next year. Way to go, Mason. Ms. Druin's seventh grade math winner is Jonathan Flynn. Jonathan is a top-notch student who cares about his work and always wants to do his best. He is respectful, responsible, and organized. I've had the pleasure of having Jonathan in class two years in a row. Way to go, Jonathan. Ms. Huff's math award winner goes to Cole Hardwick. I'm giving this award to Cole because this kid goes above and beyond. He can be gone a whole week and miss everything, then come back and learn the content that he missed within a day. He always works hard every day and comes into class with a great attitude. Her favorite memory of Cole is when she scared him while he was sleeping during deer time. Congratulations, Cole. Mr. Wood's seventh grade math winner is Gwen Johnson. Gwen has shown an amazing amount of improvement throughout the school year. He's been beyond impressed by how hard she has worked even when things were difficult. Congratulations, Gwen. For science, Mr. Cooper's seventh grade winner goes to Zachary Miller-Avey. 
I chose Zach for this award because he is always engaging and gave tremendous effort in the classroom. When we would have discussions about the content, he would give his opinion to all the classmates. During group activities, he would be a good team leader and would help students who would not understand and clear all misconceptions. He showed that he had a vast knowledge in the classroom and he did his best in his classroom. He never gave up. He presents the 2020 7th Grade Science Award to Zach Miller Aby. Way to go. Ms. Caldwell Science Award winner is Sydney Putnam. Sydney goes above and beyond to do her best in science class. Her depth of understanding and scientific thinking are impressive. I've enjoyed seeing her competitive nature to always push herself to give her all. I've loved having Sydney in class and look forward to seeing what awesome things her future holds. Congratulations, Sydney. For social studies, Mr. Carrier's winner is Hayes Preston. Hayes was the quintessential leader that was able to set an example for his peers each day. He could dissect the con the, and connect, make real-world connections to provide meaningful explanations to his peers. It's no secret that he and his family value education shown through his desire to not accept anything but the best. Above all, he was an incredibly respectful and kind young man that represents our school so well. While I will miss not having the opportunity to have him in class all year, I look forward to watching him grow and obtain all of the goals he has set for himself. Way to go, Hayes. Mrs. Couch Social Studies winner is Wyatt Hoffman. Wyatt is always prepared for class. He is on top of his work with a complete answer. He made sure the work was complete on time and never late. He is willing to work with any student in need of assistance. He is a very good student and a pleasure to have in class. Congratulations, Wyatt. For our Cougar Award winner in seventh grade, the first recipient is Riley Murphy. Throughout this award ceremony, a common theme is excellence. To be a Cougar Award winner, though, is extra special. It's a level of excellence reached in multiple areas of that person's life. Riley Murphy is a seventh grade Cougar Award winner. She earned this achievement because of the standard stuff. She's great at school, hard worker, etc. The list could go on and on. In fact, she was the second highest algebra grade as a seventh grader. Riley is more than just accomplishment titles, though. She's well-rounded. We've witnessed Riley's close bonds with her friends. She's a team player in her sports like softball. She is dedicated and steadfast. She holds herself to the highest level of achievement and growth. She does not scoff at help like some talented students can do, but is eager to always get better by the goals she sets for herself. Your first impression of Riley is reserved, quiet, and hardworking, but the more you get to know her, the more you see all the multifaceted parts of her personality. All those sides to Riley are what are being recognized tonight. Congratulations, Riley Murphy. The second Cougar Award winner goes to Mason Seagraves. Basketball's great Kobe Bryant once said, great things come from hard work and perseverance. No excuses. This is definitely the attitude that Mason embodies in all the aspects in life, and he demonstrates this daily at GMS through our pride motto. Mason exhibits perseverance in everything he does and has an unwavering determination to do his absolute best. He is respectful to all faculty, staff, and peers and sets the example for others as a role model. Mason is very involved, participating in soccer, basketball, student council, and academic team, and his competitive spirit gives him the determination to strive for excellence both in and out of the classroom. It is for all these reasons and more that Mason Seagraves was voted to be a Cougar Award winner by his teachers, and we look forward to seeing all the ways his no-excuse attitude will pay off in his future. Congratulations, Mason Seagraves. Next, we will be presenting the Encore Award for our seventh grade students. First, we have Ms. Mason's Art Award winner, Jillian Long. In the words of her fellow peers, Jillian is the GOAT, or greatest of all time. Art is her language. Ms. Mason cherished the days that they sat and mindlessly doodled together. She learned from her, and she was the teacher that Ms. Mason, and sometimes Ms. Mason was the student. Jillian's future is limitless. Congratulations, Jillian. For the seventh grade band award winner, Mr. Green has given the award to Danny Roberts. 
Danny is one of the best percussionists Mr. Green has taught in a while. Not only does he have a ton of natural talent, but he works hard too. This year, he's really stepped up in the role of a strong leader in both band classes, and Mr. Green truly appreciates that. He also made the top band in honors band this year, which is a big deal for someone his age, and Mr. Green expects even better things for him in the future. For those reasons, Danny Robert it, Roberts is the seventh grade band award winner this year. Congratulations, Danny. For the seventh grade choir award winner, Mr. Fletcher has chosen Erica Hebenthal. Erica Hebenthal is a tremendous student. She accepts constructive criticism as well as any student Mr. Fletcher has ever had. Erica is not only willing to push herself out of her comfort zone, but she embraces it in order to become the best she can in all she does. Erica is friendly, genuine, and considerate, and her hallway high fives have given Mr. Fletcher the midday push he needed many times to finish out his day. Great job, Erica. For Family Consumer Science, Ms. Tara has chosen Tanner Million. Tanner has a positive attitude that encourages everyone around him to do their best. Tanner works hard and completes his work at the highest quality every day. Tanner is a pleasure to have in the classroom. Way to go, Tanner. For PE, 7th grade award winner, Ms. Clark has chosen Slade Skeens or Slater Skeens. There is so much good to be said about him. He is a role model student, leading by example. He loves activity, being involved in sports, and through his action, br actions brings out the best in those around him. The kind of teammate you want on the court and field and in the classroom. Way to go, Slade. For the STEM award winner, for seventh grade, Ms. Garner has chosen Trenton Ison. Ms. Garner is naming Trenton the Quarantine King. He did his best and completed more assignments than he needed to. Ms. Garner even got emails asking what he needed to do for the day. She is bummed that she did not get to have Trenton in her actual classroom, but he was a dream to have in her virtual classroom. Great job, Trenton. We will now present our honor roll all year students. McKenna Allen, Demarion Boley, Addison Comley, Haley Condon, Trinity Cotton, Abigail East, Emily Eaton, Cameron Florence, Nevea Four Wilkham, Braden Fugate, Hannah Fuller, Alicia Gabbard, Nicholas Gabbard, Lizeth Gallagas, Kama Galloway, Mercedes Gaskin, Colt Good, Trey Graham, Jacob Gresham, Emma Grischuk, Erica Hebenthal, Wyatt Hoffman, Gavin Hubbard, Trenton Ison, Audrey Jennings, Hannah Kreinbrain, Evelina Kudrick, Jillian Long, Caleb Mead, Casey Meadows, Tanner Million, Presley Moberly, Carla Ochoa, Ava Odette, Cameron Peak, Juan Perez, Braden Pointer, Tristan Richardson, Caitlin Richmond, Jeffrey Skeens, Trey Smith, Corey Turpin, and Garrett Wilson. Congratulations to these seventh graders for maintaining honor roll all year. We will now move to students who received all eight honor roll all year. Adeline East, Jonathan Flynn, Elizabeth Gaunt, Coleman Hardwick, Ryder Jagger, Isabella Lopez, Reagan Lowry, Audrey Murphy, Riley Murphy, Myla Parson, Reagan Powell, Hayes Preston, Sydney Putnam, Mason Seagraves, and Ben Sullivan. Congratulations to these students for maintaining all A on the roll all year. Next will be perfect attendance for the entire school year. Abigail Adams, Jimmy Canada, Braden Fugate, Mercedes Gaskin, Tanner Million, and Mason Seagraves. Congratulations to these students as well. 
This concludes our seventh grade evening of excellence awards. Congratulations to all of the seventh grade winners and thank you for all of your hard work in making 2019-2020 such a wonderful school year.